time it's Megan here. I'm going to take you um, through a intermediate slash advanced reformer class today. You're just going to need your box and that's all the props we need today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to set my watch so I don't go over. Um, let's go ahead and start on one red heavy spring. So just one red spring. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sit on a reformer facing the back our legs in between the shoulder blocks, and we're gonna go ahead and grab the short straps. Make sure you have about a hand distance with behind you for our roll downs. And we're just gonna sit up nice and tall. You can have your legs crossed or out, whichever you're comfortable with. So nice and tall on our sit bones, short straps, palms facing in, and we're just gonna do a few roll downs. So we're gonna roll down, pulling the straps to chest, finding our C curve and then just rolling right back up. So that's all we're doing. We're just rolling down, finding our C curve, and then rolling up, up on our sit bones. So we're just warming up our spine, activating those abdominals, and also find articulation in that spine. So take this as slow as you like. Nice and slow, rolling up all the way up, and then tucking the chin as we roll down. Good, let's do a couple more. And up, and last one, stay down. Now palms face in, arms come up at shoulder level, and we're gonna go right into a bicep curl. Good, so really try to stay low in that C curve. Keep those arms up. The higher you have your arms, the more challenging it's going to be. So, good. Keep on going. Use your breath in through your nose and out through your first lip. Just a few more. So controlling it in that core. Let's go for five, four, three, Two, last one, keep it back, stay in that C curve, and we're just gonna pulse the arms up. Just little pulses up, burning out those shoulders. So we're gonna start from working from upper body down to our lower body today. So you'll get a full body workout. So let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, roll it on up and flex it over. Good, take a quick break, rolling out those shoulders. We're gonna get right back to it. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead, find our seat curve, pull our straps to chest. Now our palms facing in, keeping our hands narrow towards our ears. And we're just gonna pull straight back towards our ears and back to starting position. So you wanna get full extension back and starting position. Still maintaining that seat curve. Use your breath in through your nose as you pull back and in. Go ahead. Go for five, four, hello shoulders, three, two, last one. Keep it up. Lead with the head and come sitting right through the sit bones. Good. So now we're going to roll back, pulling the straps towards our chest, pulling the arms straight back, leading with the head sitting all the way up tall on the sit bones. So let's just do a few of these rowing. Straight arm rows. Good. We should be pretty warm by now. Let's go for three. Two. Really lengthen through that spine as you come up. And then the last one. Whew. Good job. Our left those shoulders, we're not done. Still holding those short straps. Now we're gonna find our arms glued towards our sides. So really keep those elbows towards your rib cage, thumbs facing up, and now we're just gonna go into an external rotation. So keeping those arms glued, you're just rotating out towards the side and back in, thumbs up. So now we're working our rotator cuff, hitting all three deltoids, and still working into that back. Good. Keep 
working on that breath. Let's go for five, four. Remember, sitting tall. Three, two, one. From here, we're just going to pull out to a T and back to center. So control that carriage as it comes home so you're not hitting that stopper really fast. You have full control using all of our muscles. Still sitting tall. Exhale as you pull. Inhale as you release. Try to stay up at shoulder level. Keep your trunk still, so don't throw any, don't throw your body out. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Good, not done. Now we're gonna go ahead and tuck our pelvis. Just a slight little curve. We're not too far in our C curve. It's just a slight little um, tilt with our tailbone. And then from here, we're gonna go right into drawing an X with our arms. So go ahead and rotate your body to look down at that floor as you draw your arms up and down. Good, still try to maintain that little C curve position, but not too far down, keeping the arms nice and long and straight. Your arms should be definitely super warm by now on our. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, and last one. Good, almost done back here. Last exercise facing the back of the reformer. So now we're gonna do straight arm pull. So arms come down straight, palms facing in, and just gonna pull straight back and control that carriage as you bring it home. Don't let momentum bring you home. That's gonna be too fast, you're not using your muscles. So you're using all of your back, your triceps, to go ahead and move that carriage, hold it for a second, and bring it home. Still sitting tall on our sit bones, chest wide, wide collarbones, don't crunch in. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, flexing over and shake it up. Whew. Good job, guys. We're gonna go ahead and still hold those straps. We're just gonna turn around and we're gonna face the front of our reformer now. So I'm gonna come up on my knees. Don't cross your, don't cross your straps. I'm gonna switch to long straps here now. So I'm gonna be on my knees. My feet are up against the shoulder blocks. This is too much. You can always sit back onto your heels or you can sit on your butt, whatever you're comfortable with. But if you're sitting with me, come onto your heels. Make sure you push your hips forward here. Okay, so we don't go head first. We're gonna go ahead and serve the platter. So we're bringing the arms straight up, out to the side, back to center, and down. So pushing my hips forward, so I'm really keeping my body pretty still, nice and stabilized as I do this arm movement. Abs are definitely engaged. Keep a slight bend in your elbow. Working into our pecs now, working that chest, and still working those shoulders. Good, so I told you I'd give you a really good workout. I've taken my classes before. You know, I really like to challenge you guys. Keep breathing in through your nose and out through your chest. Let's go for four. Three. Squeeze those glutes. Two. And the last one. Come on down. Sit towards your heels. We're staying here though. We're gonna bring our arms in front of us and right in front of our forehead. Create a diamond shape with our hands. Now, we're gonna go ahead, as we extend our arms, we come up. And as we come back, we're hinging back towards those heels. So we're activating the lower part of our body, but still working really hard on that upper body. Good, keep going. Also bringing our heart rate up here. So this is a good little cardio exercise 
as well. You're just hinging back towards those heels. You're not fully sitting down. Let's add some speed. Let's go from five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down, shake it off. We're not done here. Last set right now. We're gonna go ahead and right into hug a tree. So come onto your hip knees if you're kneeling, or you can stay seated. Arms come out to the side, slight bend in the elbow, and we're just gonna go ahead and create that nice round beach ball movement in front. If you're kneeling, you're still pushing those hips forward. Good, you wanna keep your hands in your peripheral vision the entire time. So you want to come too far back. Stay up at chest level. We're almost there. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on down and roll up those shoulders. Great job. Let's go ahead, put our straps down. We're still gonna stay on that red spring, okay? So now, I'm just gonna grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna do some tricep dips. And I'll give you a modification or different option if this is gonna be too hard on your wrists. So if you're sticking with me, one red spring, you're gonna go ahead and put your heels on the foot bar, about hip distance apart. You're gonna place your hands on your shoulder blocks, your fingers are facing towards your body. Make sure you really grip those shoulder blocks. You're gonna go ahead, lift up and bridge. And from here, keeping that carriage still, you're gonna bend the elbows and up. Try to keep your shoulders out of ears. Just using those triceps. If this is too much for you, you can grab your strap and you can do overhead triceps. So let's go ahead, pick your choice and stick with me. Let's go for five, four, three, two, last one. Stay up. Now reach the chip, tip, uh, I'm sorry, the hips up and down. So now you're just reaching those knees over that foot bar. Arms are staying still. They're just stabilizing your body. Over and down for two. And one last exercise here, guys. Stay with me if you can. You're gonna go ahead and extend your legs, and now you're pushing out with those arms using those triceps. Five, this is difficult. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring that carriage home and come on down. Whew. Really warm here. Go ahead and roll out those shoulders, roll out those wrists. I know those were a little difficult, but super effective. Good job. Now we're gonna do a spring change. Let's go ahead, take your red spring off and put your blue spring, which is your lighter spring. Good, so now we're gonna go ahead, find our short straps again. You're gonna pull your carriage away from your stopper and you're gonna step into your well. Closest, sorry guys, let's go ahead and put our foot bar down as well. I should've did this before I got in. But yeah, so foot bar down, one blue spring, stepping inside your well, holding your short straps. Good, so keeping your legs closest to your bar, you're gonna find that nice squatting position, palms face down, and we're just gonna do a high elbow row. Good, so we're working into that back, working the lats, really nice exercise, working that posterior chain. Try to keep your knees bent, sitting back towards your heels, maintaining that squat, just moving those arms. Good. Try to keep the elbows up high. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Last one. Keep your elbows up. Rotate your palms towards each other where your thumbs are up. And you're going to keep that 
carriage out, maintaining it out, holding the strap, and now you're just gonna bend down, see if your butt can touch your platform and up. Good, just because our arms aren't moving in and out anymore, they're still working to maintain, to keep that carriage away from us. Holding those straps. Now working into those legs, squeezing those glutes, pushing those knees further away from each other. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and the last one. Slowly come out of your well and bring your carriage home. Good. Let's go ahead, put our straps down. We're still gonna stay on that blue spring. Now we're gonna be kneeling, facing the back of our reformer. Knees up against the shoulder block. You're gonna use your carriage to climb, to grab your pegs. And the blue spring for me, because this exercise is a little light, so now I'm gonna do single arm. So if you're sticking with me, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my right arm, put my left arm behind my back, and I'm gonna do pull-ups. If you look, I'm keeping a straight spine, I'm not crunched over, I'm reaching the crown of my head long, pulling my tailbone back, and I'm keeping a slight bend in my elbow as I extend it and bring it forward. Good, if single arm's too much, use both arms. Depending how you feel. Good, keep going. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch arms. So now I'm using my left arm, my right hand behind my back. Same motion. Keeping that straight spine. Don't crunch over. Engage that core. Keep a slight bend in that elbow. Don't hyperextend it. Good job. Keep going. Keep breathing. Let's go for five, four, three, two. And last one, grab both pegs with your arms. You're gonna keep holding onto those pegs as you release that carriage home, but don't let go of those pegs. You're just gonna drop your head and get a nice long spine extension. So just decompressing that spine. It should be a nice stretch for you. Good, and slowly let that carriage come home. Good job guys, since we're back there, Let's go ahead, take that blue off, and put that red spring back on. So one red spring. And now we're gonna go into a reverse knee stretch. So our knees up against the shoulder block again. We're going to place our hands onto the um, carriage. But now, watch my weight. I'm shifting my weight over my hips. I'm not keeping it stacked. I'm not gonna move my arms. My arms are my stabilizer now, so my arms are doing the work. I'm gonna pull my knees into chest, rounding that spine, and then slowly allowing it to go home. So this should be a nice little ab work for you. Maintain it in the core the entire time. Um, belly button to spine. Arms aren't doing the work. You're pulling your knees to chest, getting that nice roundness of the spine as you crunch in, and then let your abs bring your carriage home. Don't let your springs bring you back. They'll bring you back too fast, and you're not engaging the core. Good. So you want to keep that core really tight the entire time, and that's how you know you're really working those muscles. Keep a slight bend in your elbows. Keep breathing, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Let that carriage go home in quick child pose. Good job, guys. As you haven't told, can tell already, we're in our abs series now. So we're working 
down to our lower body. Let's go ahead and grab our boxes. So we're gonna grab our long box, place it on our carriage. We're gonna still keep that red spring. We're gonna sit on our box, facing the back, grabbing our long straps, and we're gonna place it over our knee. Good. So now we're gonna go ahead and lay on our box. You kinda of want your shoulder blades closest to the front of your box, just so you can get more range of motion here. Good, when you're ready, bring your legs to tabletop, your hands behind your head to support your head, neck and shoulders, keep your elbows out wide, and we're just gonna warm up here. Just gonna dip the toes down and up, squeezing those knees together. It doesn't have to be a large motion here, because I'm sure your carriage is hitting that stopper eventually. So really think about taking this movement really slow and engaging those core, the core muscles. So squeezing the core as you lower those, lift, those legs and lifting up. Keep it out of your tailbone and your back. So you wanna tilt that tailbone up. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, and one. Hug those knees, we're not done here. From there, from here, we're gonna go into a double leg stretch. So you're gonna extend both legs out, arms come overhead, circle those arms, and grab your leg. Out, and circle. So allowing your carriage to move in and out. Nice, strong, long legs and long, strong arms as you reach overhead and circle around and grab your legs. Good, still maintaining that core activation. Keep it out of your lower back. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one, hug your knees. We're not done yet from here. You're gonna go ahead and just bring one knee in at a time. So extend both legs and bring one knee in towards your chest at a time. Whew, I feel this. Let's see if you can add a twist. So bring that opposite elbow, opposite knee in towards your chest for five, whew, four, three, Two, and one. Ooh, I feel that so much, sorry guys. I did a bunch of abs yesterday, so that was really difficult. But we're almost done, we have one more exercise here, okay? Let's see if I can do it. So, last one here, hands behind your head, arms straight, and you're just gonna lower and lift those legs, squeezing the knees together. This doesn't have to be a big motion either because of this stopper. Just burning out those abs. Let's find a six pack. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, okay. Grab those knees. Slowly roll on up. Oh, and remove those straps. I hope you guys felt that as much as I did. Go ahead and put your D rings. Put your straps down, sorry. And now we're gonna switch to a short box. So grab a quick sip of water. Go ahead and add a few more springs so our um, carriage doesn't move at all. Perfect. And now we're gonna go right into our side bends. So I'm gonna start on my left side. So my right leg is in the strap, my left leg is on the box, my hips are squared towards you. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and place my hands on my heart and I'm gonna put my body weight into the well and back up. So as I come up, I keep a nice long straight line. I'm not coming all the way up. You can go as far as you like into the well, but only come up to a nice straight line from head to toe. If you want to go ahead 
and make this more challenging. Hands behind your head. Or you can place them overhead. And I like to do this motion. Kind of rainbow my arms up and down as I use my obliques to lift my body up and lower. Yes, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind your head, right into hawk. And up. So we're going down into the well, turning, squaring our shoulders off, hawking our arms out, hands behind your head, turning back to center. Good. Down, rotate, hawk out, hands behind, rotate and up. Let's go for three, two, and last one. And shake it off just for a quick second. Whew, catch your breath. And when you're ready, rotate your shoulders down into the well. Hands on your heart and going right into a back extension. So just bending at the hips, we're hitting those external obliques, lower back. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Put your left hand down and just mermaid your right hand over. Get that nice lateral flexion on the side and catch your breath. Awesome. Let's come on up. Now I'm going to have my back facing you, but we're going to do the same combination on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and put my left leg in strap, my right leg on my bar, box, and now I'm facing the other side. So I'm going to start with my hands on my heart, and I'm just going to dip in the well, up and down. Still maintain that nice long line as I come up. I'm not Coming up too far. Finding that oblique connection, bringing your navel to spine, hands behind your head. If you wanna go ahead. And let's go ahead and do that arm ring, bowing up. So you go down, both hands meet, and you come up, both left hand comes up and around. Yes, good job. Let's go for five. Four, keep your hips square to the wall. Two, and one. Let's go into that hawk. Good. Down, rotate, hawk the arms out, back behind the head, and rotate up. Whew. Good. For five, four, three, two, and last one, go ahead and just take a quick little breather. We're almost done with this series. Go ahead and rotate our chest down into the well, hands on your heart, and just lifting up from that waist, keeping our eye gaze down at the floor, feeling the external obliques and that low back for five, four, Three, two, and one. Good, put your hand down and rainbow that left arm over. Get that nice stretch on the side. Woo. Good job, everyone. Let's go ahead and remove our box. We're done with our box, so we can put that away. We're gonna go ahead Switch our spring. So now you're just on one blue spring, one light spring. You're gonna come to the back of your performer and you're gonna step into your well. So now we're in our lower body workout. From here, you're gonna place your right foot onto your reformer and you're gonna keep your left foot on the floor or whichever side you're working. Hands on your waist, and your left foot is gonna keep you nice and steady, and you're gonna use your inner thigh to bring your right foot to move that carriage back to your left foot. 
So you can make this more challenging by walking your feet further away from each other. So if you want more tension in that inner thigh, walk your foot closer towards the springs. So this is a good pelvic floor strengthening muscle um, exercise too. Think about lifting up on that pelvic floor as you bring that carriage closer towards your other leg. Good, let's go ahead and add a nice little flexion over. So rounding as you bring that carriage in and back to center. Keep those shoulders back, don't crunch in. For two, and one. Now we're gonna rotate towards the front of the reformer and back to center as we bring that carriage in. Good. Still maintain that inner thigh connection, so squeezing those thighs, squeezing the glutes. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that carriage home. Good job. Let's go ahead and face the other way. I'm gonna have my back towards you, but we're gonna do the same combination. So we're just gonna start with pulling that left leg in towards your right leg or your standing leg, whichever side you're on. Engaging that inner thigh. Good. Really resist that carriage coming home. Don't let your springs bring you home. Let your inner thigh bring you home the entire time. Let's go ahead and add that side lateral flexion, lateral stretch. Good. Remember, hold those shoulders back for three, two, and one. Now let's go ahead, rotate your body towards the front of the reformer, and back center. Still having full control with that inner thigh, moving that carriage, doing all that work. Good job, guys. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, bring that carriage home and come on down. Good job, everyone. So let's go ahead, put our foot bar, foot bar up, sorry. And let's add a red spring. So one red spring only. We're gonna go ahead and lay down on our backs, headrest is down. So we're gonna do some bridge work. So let's go ahead and lay down. Find the balls of your feet here. Hands by your side. Try to keep that carriage still as we go ahead and bridge up. Squeezing those glutes, relaxing the rib cage. You're just lifting up from those hips. If you wanna make this more challenging, hands up to the ceiling. So balls of our feet, keep the heels lifted. And we're just gonna push that carriage out and in. Keeping those hips lifted the entire time. Keeping those heels lifted. If keeping your arms up is too much, you can keep them lower. Keep them down on the reformer. But this is gonna add a little bit more challenge to wherever you're at. Go ahead. Good, so let your hamstrings really warm up, feeling that work, bringing that carriage in and out for four, three, Two, last one, bring it in and roll the hips down, but touch with the reformer and back up. See if you can keep that carriage still. This is really challenging. Just lowering down and lifting up. Good. See if you can lift those knees over the foot bar for five, four, whoo, three. Two, and one. Stay high in that bridge. Lift that 
right leg up, and you're just going to lower that right leg and lift it. Flex that foot down, point the toes up, still keeping the high on that foot. Left um, ball of the foot for three, two, and one. Both feet down, left leg up, same thing. Flex that foot, point the toes. If your legs are shaking like mine, that's okay. I'm right there with you guys. Say hi on the ball of the foot for five, four, three, two, and last one. Come on down and rolling on down. Woo. Good job. Stay on that red spring. We're going to go ahead and lay on our side. So lay on I'm starting with my left side. Your headrest can come up now. I'm going to put my top foot in the long strap. I'm going to bring my bottom leg to tabletop, and I'm going to rest my head on my arm. Keep that mouse house on that left side. And from here, go ahead and flex the foot, and you're just going to kick the leg straight out and bring it right back to 90 degrees. Don't come too far up. You want to find that nice 90 degrees, nice L shape, and kick through that heel. Try to stay up at hip level the entire time. Still try to keep that left oblique, whatever side you're laying on, keep that side lifted. We're just not laying there. We're always engaging our muscles, fully aware. Good. Try to keep the hip up at um, hip level for five. Four, three, two, and one. Stay there. Just point the toes up to the ceiling now and bend in and out. So same motion, but now our toe placement is just different. So now we're just hitting different muscle groups here. Good. Still keeping it nice 90 degrees. Don't come too far up. Maintain that nice 90 degrees. So no momentum is being used. Just your full glute and legs are doing all this work. Try to keep the foot tilted up towards the ceiling. You look good. Keep that side lifted for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Rotate the foot towards the parallel and you're going to bring that foot all the way in front of you. So it's nice and um, level with your bottom leg. Point the toes down, but keep tension in the strap, and now you're just going to lower and lift that leg. With tension in that strap, but try to keep that carriage still. See if you can point the toes down towards the floor as you lower and lift. So we're really hitting those hip abductors. So our nice outer thigh, outer glutes, Bye-bye saddle bags, really nice sculpted shaped legs here. And keep breathing and keep that nice mouth house on the side for five. I feel this, four, three, two, and one. Good job guys, stay there. Just place that long strap over your knee now and find 90 degrees with both of your legs onto the foot bar, I'm sorry, onto the carriage. Keep the um, ankles glued, and we're just gonna go right into our clams. Good, so opening and closing. Keep your feet down onto the carriage. Ankles don't move. You're just lifting and lowering that leg. Really find that sweet spot and work into it. These are slow and controlled movements, nothing fast. Slow is effective. I'm feeling it. Go for five, four, three, two, and one. Now go ahead and release your legs and you're just going to open and close that leg. Keeping that carriage still, see if you can lift that leg straight up and down. So now your ankles lead each other. So keeping tension in that strap, but the carriage doesn't move for three, two, oh my gosh, and one. Keep the leg up, little circles. Mine's on fire for two, and one. Reverse direction, almost there guys, for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lay it down. I really felt that. So go ahead and roll that out. And when you're ready, slowly come out of that strap. Place it onto 
onto your D ring and let's turn around and do it on the other side. So I'm gonna have my back facing you, but we're gonna do the same combination, okay? So we're gonna start with that long strap on the bottom of our left foot now, or whichever side you're on. Bottom leg is 90 degrees, and we're just gonna kick through that heel and bring it right back in. So bend and stretch, keeping your foot parallel and flex. Stay up at hip level, remember, finding that mouse house on the right side now, so lifting up to that right oblique, and just coming in at 90 degrees and kicking back. Good job. Stay engaged, focus on your breath. We're almost done here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Rotating the toes up to the ceiling and same movement now. Just your toes and knee are up towards the ceiling as you bend in and kick through that heel. You still want to keep your hips square to the wall in front of you, so try not to rotate your hips up towards the ceiling. Just your knee and your toes. Staying up at hip level, still finding that nice 90 degrees for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your legs long, stretch out in front of you, point those toes down, the carriage doesn't move. You keep tension in that strap, as you just lower and lift that carriage. Keeping it still, keeping that leg nice and front, straight in front of you. Point the toes down if you can, and really working into that sweet spot. You got it, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, Ben. Go ahead, grab that strap, and place it over your knee, Bending both legs on the carriage now. Keeping your heels glued, we're gonna go right into our clams. It's a slow and controlled movement. Heels stay together. Just knees are going away from each other and then connecting. Still keeping lifted on that right oblique. We're not just laying there. Slow and controlled movement. We're almost done. Keep breathing for three two, and one. Now let's go ahead, keep that carriage still as you just lower and lift that leg. Just like a book, it opens and closes. You're still keeping tension in that strap, so you really feel that sweet spot, our hip abductors, outer thigh, outer glute right here. Working really hard, getting it nice and toned for three, two, last one, keep it up. Almost done, little circles, little melon sized circles at hip level for two. And one, let's reverse direction. I'm burning, I'm with you for five, four, three, two, and one. Place that leg down and rub it out. Good job guys, come on up. You're gonna go ahead and add, go ahead and add a yellow spring. So one red, one yellow. I'm gonna grab a good sip of water. We're officially in cool down mode. So go ahead and lay down onto your carriage, grabbing your short straps, sorry, your straps. Just bending in 
and out. Good. Let's go for three, two, and one. Stay there. Just find your Pilates V. So heels together, toes apart, and same motion. So now our deep knee, we, oh, our knees come out wide. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Keeping our tailbone heavy so we're not lifting up. Arms by your side. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Keep your legs straight. Feet parallel. And now we're just going to hinge up towards the ceiling for straight legs. Lower and lift. Good. So still keeping that tailbone heavy. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the legs. Using the back of the legs also to really pull the straps down. Good. Lift your legs as high as you can, but still maintaining that heavy tailbone. For three. Two, and one. Go ahead and release your head rest all the way flat, and we're going to come into short spine. So we're going to legs at K on B position. You're going to rotate to parallel, hinge a leg all the way up to the ceiling, using our abs to roll up, up to our thoracic spine, not our neck. Rotate our feet to B position, bending our knees into chest as far as they can go. Staying up in space as we lower our butt all the way down to the carriage, pulling our feet to our butt and pushing out. So let's go ahead and add some speed to it. Good job. We're just going to do a few of these. Try to hit all those motions I told you about. Short spine has a bunch of cueing to it, so a lot of footwork up. Rotate out to Pilates V, bending the knees to chest. Stay up in space as you lower that butt in that hamstring pull. Once the butt's down, then you pull the feet down and push out. Let's do one more. Good. From here, let's go right into our leg circles. So now you guys can go as wide as you like because you don't have your buddy looking up next to you. So, really open up those hips. Just keep the tailbone heavy. Should feel really nice. Let's go for four. Three. Two. And one, let's reverse direction. Pulling the legs down, still maintaining that heavy tailbone for three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Go ahead and just find that quick diamond shape with the legs, heels and toes touching, legs out to center, let your ropes. Relax on your chest as you bring your feet down to the springs. And let's just lay here for a second. Catch our breath. In through the nose. Out through the first lip. Good job. And when you're ready, come out of your strap safely. Hang them onto the D-ring. We're going to come on up. Let's see if we have time. Releasing your heavy spring. Let's just do a quick little thigh stretch opener. Pushing it back with your right leg onto the carriage, left leg onto the um, floor. And then push out into a nice split, lifting those toes and then lowering those toes so you get a nice big stretch. Bringing that carriage in. And let's go to the other side real quick. Pushing out with your foot. Keep the chest lifted. Nice thigh stretch, opening up those hips. Take a 
a deep breath as you push the carriage back, lifting the toes up off the floor, and then placing them back down on the floor to get that nice stretch, and slowly bring that carriage home. And um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that class, and I hope to see you again. Have a great day. Bye.